Do I even like that? Hmm. Not really. Okay, let's try squirting it then. Oh yeah, it's better. Hey guys, it's Jamie here, and I'm going to take part in the full deck challenge too. However, I'm going to do it slightly differently. I am going to do the prompts with each card, but because I had to order my cards from Amazon and it was cheaper to buy a multi-pack, i.e. three packs of cards, I'm going to do three different cards with the same prompts, and then you can vote on which one out of the three is your favourite for that week, if any. <laughs> How does that sound? To find the original challenge, the channel is listed in the description below. So the prompts are bird, pink, hole punch. Therefore, as soon as they said pink and a bright vivid pink, which isn't my thing normally, I immediately thought boho. <laughs> glittery glittery boho and as some of you may know i did do a boho journal for my mum's 70th was it a 70th 75th god i should know how old she is the first thing i'm going to do is cover the card with mostly this i'm going to use mod podge you can use basically any glue i have done this with a glue stick before cover the card with Mod Podge and then the napkin and then do a ceiling top coat as well. Oh, I've got a bit of normal actually. So I could do, oh yeah. Let's put the normal one on first. This is just one of the layers torn away from a napkin. I tend to keep them. Cover the whole thing with the plane. Tear that away. I'm not too worried if it doesn't all hit the card because we're going to put more napkin on but this time we're going to be doing the black roses one i want a lot of black on there and i want some of the flowers it's around there probably slightly further on i do want you to be able to see it's a playing card i may patch a bit over here with some of the black debating whether i want to put a bit of black from here and patch it in over here a little bit. I'm going to dry that now. It's basically dry. I am going to tear it away. Now, do I want, certainly don't want the see-through bit showing through let's get the black ink it's a permanent memento if this doesn't pick up on the edges then i will use some black gesso i have this fabric i'm not saying i'm definitely going to use this because it is very wide i could just do a bit of it down one edge and i have my bird okay i'm not liking the sari material with this so let's think, bright pink. I do have some bright pink ink, but I think I'm gonna go to a paint. Let's see what we can do with this, what is it? It's um, watercolor rose. I'm not going to add too much water to it. Is that pink or purple? We're gonna call it pink. Do I even like that? Hmm, not really. Okay, let's try squirting it then. Oh yeah, it's better. Let's just quickly try this. One of the prompts was hole punch. And I don't have a little one. <laughs> I only have the huge hole to punch. And I'm going to pretty unevenly probably punch some holes down the side of the card right okay what i might try and do is cut some of this and thread it through those punch holes 
I'm assuming the easiest way to thread this will be to use one of my big needles and then just do a like a running stitch and get it about even I don't think that's going to come out you know I was going to knot them but I don't think you need to do I want it loose or glued I think I prefer glued I will glue those down using the Fabri-Tac I'm going to have to write these prompts down because I nearly forgot one of the prompts was numbers. So I've pulled out a black and white number. I've got my peacock here, which I'd already fussy cut in advance, but I'm going to back it onto the black card and then fussy cut the black card so it makes an outline. Roughly follow that with a small border. It won't even be that even, as long as we create a bit of an outline for the bird. That should help that pop against that background and it does we'd stick a number down there and that would be that one done and that is my first altered card for the second altered playing card we're going to start with the same idea cover it with a singular ply of napkin put a top coat on let that dry i cannot resist glitter and this is a metallic pink see what this is going to look like i'll probably spray it i think it's an acrylic yeah metallic acrylic in magenta let's dry that one i really mustn't forget any of the prompts this time paper wise i have this which i actually printed off for another project but as you can see, it's got a bird and it's got pink and it's got like a William Morris style print. I think we will have a go at tearing around a bird. And then if I don't like that, for whatever reason, we will try something else. I've just torn around the wrong bird because he is facing the wrong way. Let's try again. Now I want to try and do some fairly close tearing. Something like that. Oh, he's ever so big. If he was to go on there, I still need something else, don't I? Because that does not work all by itself. Ah, okay. Um, let's have a little think about this. I wonder. Let's just see. I don't know. I may have to change the colour of this. Yes, I feel like I need to change the colour of that. What do I want to change it to? I don't want pink again. Paint it or gold leaf it. Ooh. We could do rose gold leafing. Modge Podge. It might take quite a bit. I do not feel like that works. Therefore, this is going to go into the scrap box so it can be used another time and I will find something else. I have pulled out various things. Um, I have a napkin with a rose on it, or several napkins actually. I seem to have pulled them all out for some reason. A bit of this, which might work. Maybe I just need to cut the bird rather than tear it. Maybe that's the problem. Although if you do it that way, maybe then that's better. So you've just got a bit of texture be behind the torn bird. That might work. I have some lace. I have a doily, which could be stained another color. So I'm wondering if you can stain that then do this, then do this, and then do some hole punching somewhere. Victorian velvet distressing. See what we can do. No, it's gonna go that way, so it'll be this section. If we do that, then a bit of this. How are we doing? Better, definitely better. It's that bright pink that throws me. Let's stain this now. I think I will stain it, try staining it with the 
Victorian velvet and if I don't like that then I'll go in with the vintage photo okay that's better now it doesn't have a white border right I'm going to glue this to this this to this we'll get there we'll get there all right for my hole punching I'm going to do a couple of holes at the top I know it was more about making a random pattern isn't very me some of this pink lace it's getting very pink this one we shall try to do a bow on camera with long nails make some funny ears this is me trying to get a nice bow oh i did get there in the end right so we're getting some textures in here at least maybe i'm not artistic enough for this i don't know right let's have a look at numbers you never know there might be something in pink because we're doing pink overload at the moment is that too much yeah could cut along a line i don't know whether to change the whole color or not i will test the whole color on the other two numbers i do prefer the matchy matchy that will do so that is number two i don't feel i'm winning with these yet time to do the third one again covering this with the napkin i've cut out from the napkin a pink flamingo put a bit of mod podge on that i'm testing out these tempera tempera sticks that are new i can't find my watercolor crayons at the moment so i thought i'd try these and i thought i was recording and i wasn't so i've had to come back onto camera to show you what i've been doing got a little bit of water here and some color and then i'm just kind of mixing it all up probably got a clean sponge somewhere with oil pastels once they go down you can't put a different thing on top it repels we are going to fill in our flamingo and you can blend them with your finger i am just going to follow the colors that are already on here it's beginning to stand out isn't it and as soon as you add white and blend it it will take it will just lighten the color a little eye because we've lost it and we'll pull that in a little bit not too much but the main thing is his little eye's been lost okay i kind of want to come in here with a bit of yellow oh that's looking rather cool isn't it just need to bring our light in here a bit more yellow And then along this edge, go a bit darker. This is the gloss varnish. And we shall spread a bit of love over the whole thing. Make sure it's covered. Let's let that dry hey guys it's the next morning this is now dry i love it and i love it so much i'm going to break the rules i've always been a bit of a rule breaker i do not want to add numbers and punch, punch holes in this one what i do want to do though is cover up this which was i think on the napkin like a tropical flower with something else now we have these white flowers here but again they're they're too white so i'm going to look for something that can cover that corner and it won't be a number i don't think it's going to be a number it might be a number we'll see found a number so we're getting closer to the rules i'm going to stick the number and those roses down i have thought of a way to punch and add a hole that i would be happy with and that would be to add brad of some sort i'm not quite sure where halfway is going to be around there one inch 
make sure that stays. I'm going to add a little bit of tape to the back. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm, push this video out to more people. Equally subscribing helps. I have just started this project. Normally I do junk journaling and ephemera making and also modern day planner design. Let me know what you think and which one is your favorite in the comments below. And I will see you next time.